Tired of taking out-of-towners to just the needle, the market, or EMP? Local writer Atima Chansenchai has taken a decade of experiences in the Emerald City and put it all in a new book called 100 Things to Do in Seattle Before You Die. So this book, you know, it's, it's 10 years of my life here. It, it encompasses that, but it's also maybe 10% of all the things you can do in this amazing city. Like the water? One of her recommendations is right on the shores of South Lake Union. And what I like about the Center for Wooden Boats is that it combines a couple of things. It's a functional livery, which means you can rent sailboats, paddle boats, and as we're doing right now, rowboats. So even a beginner like me can come out here with a little five minute tutorial and enjoy a day out on the water. Like to sing, but on the shy side, she's got a place for that too. So we are at Rockbox in Capitol Hill. Uh, these are private rooms. You can rent them by different sizes. Um, anywhere from, I think they have what is called a lover's room, as intimate as two, to as big as 15. And there's also a party room if you're gonna go all out for it. Privacy uh, lowers inhibition. Hit me with your best shot. The book also contains plenty of places to go grab something to eat. You could easily write 100 places to eat seafood in Seattle. So it was really hard for me to narrow down to any one place. But one of my favorites is uh, Taylor Shellfish. We are right, right here in Capitol Hill. And what I like about Taylor Shellfish is that they go from hatchery to harvest. So they're in charge of the whole process. And in this location, you can see the tanks. We're here at La Carta de Oaxaca in Ballard. Um, they have these delicious fish tacos made with halibut and chipotle cream sauce. And then this is, this is um, one of the dishes they're really well known for is their mole. And this is with pork. And I, I just call it, you know, chocolate heaven. There are even spots for your ears and your eyes. This is Sonic Boom Records and CDs in Ballard. And I chose this place because as much as I am a fan of digital music, I can't let go of CDs. You also have um, beautiful used LPs and new ones. This is Teatro uh, Zinzani, and we're in Lower Queen Anne. We're really lucky here in Seattle that we get to see Cirque du Soleil fairly often, but what people may not know is that they can get a Cirque-like experience all year round here at Teatro. These very much are the kinds of things you would see at a Cirque du Soleil, and it's our own little big top here in Seattle. Atima admits her book only scratches the surface of things to do in the city, but she hopes it will help people get out there and go explore. And for me, Seattle's like the right size city. It's not too small, it's not too large, and there's a million things to do.